You're welcome to Three Real Motion Angling. I'm your man, Khalil G. I actually was surfing YouTube earlier today, and I've been having this very strong inkling that I want to make baits, and I don't really want to spend $160 to get the dual injectors with the laminate plate to block to make those so i was searching to see i was like i just knew in my mind that there had to be a way to make laminates without having to spend 160 dollars <coughs> i just knew that there had to be a way to make these laminates without having to spend 160 dollars on a new dual injector and a c block so i was searching through you and i saw a gentleman uh, i want to say his name is c is for fishing i believe that's what it was it was a silent it wasn't a silent video but he didn't speak he just did it things with his hands which is pretty cool you want to see what he did it with this right here this very very shiny piece of useful thing that you use in your kitchen all the time aluminum foil so supposedly from what i watched him do you can stick a piece of aluminum foil in between your bait molds and actually inject split molds and you're able to make laminates the way that i was able to make uh, different color tip tails we're going to get started with this see how it turns out stick with me and stay tuned i'll see you at the table we have arrived at the table i have three different molds i want to use to see how effective it really is. And of course, we'll start with everybody's favorite, the five inch Stenko. I got two of these five inch Stenkos so I can make more back to back if I need to. The Midwest Finesse, the small 2.7 inch Ned Rig style bait. And then of course my creature bait, the Knuckle Draggers from Angling AI. Um, I can definitely see those being split and having um, good results from that. So I wanna see how that turns out. So, Here's a collection of what I'm gonna be trying to make double laminates of. Oh, um, and here are my color options. Yay. So I've been going through the clutter here to find out what colors I wanna use. And I think I found it. All right, so here are the choices out of all those bags we had. Now I wanna start with something I know for sure is going to work and will look decent together, which is this watermelon color here and this orange together. I think that's already a kind of a thing in the lure making world, those two colors. Um, but the one here, this purple with the green and blue flake Mixed with these two lighter colors, I have no idea what that's going to look like when it comes together, but I want to see it. So I'm going to save that little mystery color for the end. I'm going to start here since I've never done this before. I want to make sure I do it with a color I know will look good together. And we're going to see how it goes. Let's get them in the cups and uh, see what turns out. All right, I got my colors chopped up and in the cup, ready to go. They're going into the microwave. And while they're in the microwave, we're going to go over how to get the aluminum foil to help make the laminate okay we're going to start with the simple five inch Senko. i'm just going to show you how it was done so that way you have an understanding and then i'm gonna go ahead and go through the rest of them and get it done i brought this big old piece because i was unsure of how much i was actually going to need to use but according to the gentleman or the woman i didn't know i didn't see any face it was just hands so according to the hands on the screen you basically just lay your block there you get you a well, let me do it on this corner so you can see. You basically sit your block right there and then you just outline your bait. Just like that. Okay, and that's basically the gist of it. You take that, you stick that between them and when you apply pressure, it should make your bait. So I'm gonna lock it down real fast. Like I'm actually about to pump something into it. And as you can see, there's a piece of foil 
blocking the entrance there. You basically just take your nozzle and you push it out. You open this back up and here you can see where that aluminum foil was ripped down due to the nozzle being pushed in. And then you simply cut that part out. And since mine has a nice little dent in it, I can always see exactly where to line it back up. And as you can see, it covers exactly right for me to inject and split the baits in half. In theory. Well, we got our first color out, which is this orange. I did scorch it just a little bit, but it was savable, so I am going to use it. And we're going to see if we can run a quick couple of injections and see what this laminate looks like. Oh, I think I'm at the end of that. I'm not sure if that filled up. Really gave it my all. Just top them off. I think they've sat long enough so we can take a peek to see how this turned out. I'm truly hoping that they look good. We're going to start with the five inch Cinco, of course. Take a really intimate look at how these turned out. Oh, I can tell you from looking at it, trying to get them off the top of this thing here that it did exactly what it said it was going to do. It looks like a regular Cinco. And then you lift it up, perfectly split in half. Look at that. Perfectly split in half. So what you do at this point is you take these, you, pick, you peel them back up, and you stick them back in there. All right, that was extreme time consuming. It almost looks like nothing's in there because the orange bait kind of matches the red paint, but they're in there flat. And as you can see, no bulge over the top. Wow, you know what my dumb self did? I was not supposed to put the foil back in there. <laughs> ah, the wonders and the woes of idiocy. That is fine. Oh, and it molded together too pretty nicely. So I just got to hurry up and break these down and do it all over again because I was not supposed to have this foil put back in there. I just thought about that as I pumped it out and I was like, how are they going to connect together with the foil in there? We all make mistakes. All right, we're ready. Let's see if we can, we can make this happen. Try to make sure I get it all. Okay, that felt like I kept good pressure on everybody. We should really have a good return on this one. All right, I think we did a good job. Uh, they both have been filled with the green and I have not cracked or opened them yet. So let's see what we're working with. That's kind of weird. Why is it orange on this side, but not orange on the other side. Oh, <laughs> I was like, why is this one green and the other one's orange? This one, the orange fell into the cavity upside down and then the green pumped on top of it. So this one is a very awkwardly shaped worm. It's flat on one side. That came out pretty gosh darn good. Let me, let me get y'all in a, a close up after I pop these off of here. Look at that. I got one with the orange on top, one with the green on top, and one where you can see it here from the side. This is the one that got messed up, so it's kind of a clunky combination of all of them. But if you're just looking at these two, or these three, these came out remarkable. You get all the greens on one side, you flip them over, it's orange on the other side. You can make laminates the long way without needing the C block.
this is cool. Let's see how the other ones turned out. Really, really good for the ones that don't fall. That orange on one side, green on the other. Really good. The Midwest Furnace. Oh, I think those Midwest Finesse all came out perfectly. They're all orange on one side. Orange. They're all orange. Orange on one side. That Midwest Finesse, as you can see, the green from the runner. But there's orange all over that back side. You flip them over. Can't tell the difference. Didn't even know it was orange on the other side. Look at that. You flip a few this way. Look at that. That is beautiful. I did not know that I could do this. I'm going to be doing this all the time now. And now for the one I have been waiting to see. I need to see what this bug turned out like. Because if this comes out cool, this will change how things get done uh, in this bait making situation. Okay, still had problems with the arms simply because I guess some of it couldn't get into the arms. I don't know if I ran out of liquid. I'm not really sure what happened there, but they are all orange on one side. Even though you see some of the appendages are turning green where there were empty spaces, they didn't come out perfectly, but those are very fishable. Look at that color. The green with the orange tails, orange bottoms. I mean, we still have full appendages as far as legs and, and the feet go, which is basically your main thing you're looking for. These arms are kind of pointless, but look how pretty that is. From orange to green. Ooh, I think I found me a new love. Look at that. I made a few more off camera because I figure you don't have to watch me do that entire process again. But I basically ran the rest of these Cinco's and they came out wonderful. Them colors match wonderfully together. And these are probably be killer in the water, pretty much in any lake. Nothing came out better than these net rigs. Nothing came out better than these. Each and every one of them, every single time, did it exactly right every single time. Wonderful. These look amazing. All right, and of course, these were the last that everybody wanted to see, but I tried to run another three of these, and of course, they fell out of place, so they look weird and banged up. They look good on one side. This side, of course, looks decent. This side is all bubbly and smashed because it, it fell out of its position, basically, and, and cooked in the wrong position. This one cooked in the right position, but it was predominantly green, so it's got everything mostly green, and then the bottom has some orange to it. But they came out pretty good, so now that I have an idea of how this goes, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, skip to the other color and see how those turn out all right as you can see i got a spread of the baits out here now i did not show you the process for making these so i figure i'll show them to you now all right these came out pretty decent they're a different color it was like the top is purple and the bottom is this goldish i mean this greenish gray color i'm not really sure how to how to promote that color but I actually think they turned out pretty good. They look very nice in a Ned style. They came out pretty good in that Ned style. And then of course, the bugs. These came out pretty nice too. They're that dark, dark, dark back on them on this side. And then you flip them over and you got that. So I think these came out pretty, pretty good.
thanks for sticking around and staying tuned. I truly appreciate your view and I truly appreciate you getting this far in the video to see here at the end with me. I really enjoyed making these baits. Um, this is for those people who can't go out and buy the, the big injector and, and pay for the laminate. It's $160 something dollars just at some places. It's more expensive in other places. So if you can't afford to go do that or you just don't have the time and energy to go ahead and do that, this is a good way to be able to still make the laminates you want to make at a very, very cheap price. So I'm so glad I saw that video and I was able to show that, you know, bring that to you guys. So if you're those who've never seen that before and don't know, well, I guess you don't know, right? You got an opportunity. So appreciate you coming out and spending your time with me. Let me know down below if there's any other colors you want to see. As you can see, I just did some remelts, but if there's anything else you would like to see, that would be wonderful to let me know what color combinations you think you would love to see laminated together. Shameless plug, I'm sure, but there is some merch out there that is available for those who are interested. I will have the link in the top of the description. You know, and as always, please remember to subscribe to the channel. You know, I would love to see my channel grow. There's some, so I know that there's more of you out there that love seeing what I'm doing, which would give me the courage to keep going out there and doing these for you guys. Subscribe to the channel, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let's let's start clicking all the buttons and blowing all the whistles and doing all the bells. I hate to have to shamelessly ask you guys to do that, but it helps. It helps. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm out.